fight. <coughs> now, we're going to have some fun. No, no, I'll leave that to the last. I'll leave that to the last. So, we need, as I say, some screaming skull into the um, Wild Stacker Red. Now, the Wild Stacker Red is a weird colour. It's not a very bright red. It is kind of like a dark, muted red. Which is the kind of thing I wanted for this particular team. And there's other reds I could have used. And usually I, I would use um, a evil scums, evil evil scums, evil sons. Um, I'll use that as a highlight but I'm not doing in this case because honestly I don't think we need it and, well it's not that I don't think we need it I think I'm not using evil suns because I've got evil suns in another area and I don't want it all looking the same so I'm using this in another um I'm highlighting this in the normal way I would highlight. Um but even the the highlight that I would use here it's still looking slightly pinkish. So I think we might be better off with doing a, an evil sun scarlet. Um, how I but as I say, I don't particularly want to do that. What I might do actually is look at my look into my collection of um I'm a painter paints I think I have a red there but whether or not it's a match for evil some scarlet I don't know no I'll keep it like this so there we are that's that's the red that's applied there as you can see, I'm not going overboard with it. Um, as it stands, that will do. And now into this fella. Actually, I am going to nip into the Evil Sun Scarlet. I just want to brighten it up a little bit in certain areas. No, I don't like it. 
I'm going to add some of the evil sun scarlet into it to bring back the red. So it's looking a little pink. I want a bit more of that. Take it down a bit more. So I have quite a, a pale tone now. There we go. And we'll take some of the evil sun scarlet in there with it. I'm not using this evil sun scarlet anymore because there's too much of this mixed in already. But hopefully. This will give a nice look to what we want to do. And then we've done this bit. There's not much of this to do anyway. Um, and there we are. When we come back to when we finish this, we'll get back doing the skin tone areas. And I go a bit more And just adding little strokes like this will give it a much nicer feel to it. We'll still see some of the previous shade on it, but it won't be swamped out completely. There we go. There we go. That will do fine. And as I said, we'll be putting a wash over again. I'm going to put a red wash over this area. Um, just so it takes off that pinky cast. back into the screaming skull pop some down here and then we'll get a load of this green color that we use for the skin and we'll add all of this in we don't want all that much of the screaming skull in here yet that will come later on. What we want to do is just lighten the tone of the grip and, and then we can apply the highlights where we need them. 
So, obviously. Hurler's head is going to be a source of highlight. Then this. And uh, I said as well for the goblins when I was doing that, we need the face to be the brightest part of the model. That will attract the attention to it. That's the most important part of the model, the face. There we go. And that's how we're dealing with that. A little bit more water on the brush. And into this mix. I must say that I'm look, really looking forward to making a start on the uh, brush. I've been wanting one for a long time. I was slightly put off when I mentioned it to someone and they said have you used have you used an airbrush before? I said no I just use a normal brush and paints and he says well if you never use one you don't need one so that was the The conversation we had and I sort of like put me off getting one years ago um, but now I think it was good enough to get me an airbrush kit for my birthday so it's up to me now to get cracking with learning how to use it and seeing what I can do with it and hopefully I get to learn it quite easily and it'll help my painting get better. That's what we all basically want, isn't it? We all want our paintings to get better and better. We don't just want to be stuck. You know, I know my painting skills has improved quite a lot since I started the channel. Um, now with this level of highlighting we don't we're not doing all of the skin like we did the last time, we're not covering every um, last area, we're just doing areas that are going to be hit by light. So, anything that's raised up, anything that's you can see is going to be I was like touched by the light that's. Um, and then I'll come that's done off. Oh, still working. I don't know. I won't be there. Um, so we'll just keep going. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'll just make little touches here and there sometimes just to show that light is getting to certain places. Now it may not get everywhere, well, it's not going to get everywhere, so it's not going to be underneath the model, is it? 
and that's of course the late in his it's upwards that would be slightly strange but because let's face it this game is all to do with wrestling and they wouldn't have lighting on the floor um, so you know <laughs> Um, just try and think of where the light could be coming from and where it could be coming from is where you should actually have it coming from and I usually look I've shown you this before I usually look straight down on it and anything I can see um, where the light would hit anything I can see is where the light would hit rather And uh, don't cover up all of the previous green either. Um, there's no. We've got to keep that. Um, the previous green there to give uh, to make this look right. Um, and try and get a, a good blend of it. Um, now, obviously, there are some parts where the light is not going to hit, but because of the way the model is shaped, I'm putting a little bit of a highlight there. Um, because it's, it breaks up. The um, it breaks up the total green that's there. We can knock it back after with the green wash that we're going to put on inside it's in. But here, I would have thought that the light would hit possibly here, but definitely not around the back. But just to break up that solid lump of green that's there. I thought it better just to just put a little bit of a highlight just like I said to break it up. Um, again, I seem to be having trouble with paint thickness. It's not behaving as I want it to behave. I don't know why. That's better. And don't worry if it looks a bit too too bright as putting it on. It does dry darker. And then I'm going to apply this to various stages or various areas. Um, repeatedly, but in smaller and smaller parts like here they've got to put some on here in the triangle there and I'll put some on just on the top of it and here just on the edge and here just there and a line and it's just to break up what you've already done in a later area because the more you put on if you go over an area more than once with the same colour, it will get stronger. But if you do it, if you don't do it all, it's very. If you don't do it very heavily, it will look um, as it's nice and blended in. And I'm doing that to define the shape of the area. 
Um, but I go a little bit more there, a little bit more to the front of the lip. Spot more there, spot more there, and there we are. Now you can see the difference between the two. So here we go. I will uh, on the case on the to do and that is that so next we're going to be going into surprisingly enough the screaming skull and then think my darkness A bit later, and we'll go over gloves here. He's got his lucky gloves on, but they completely don't match his outfit. As you can see. I'm putting a little bit of the of this colour of this tone on the um, knuckles. And just a little bit along the main body of the golf itself oh, yeah. that will do now um, for the scarlet we'll have to pick it out again where are you? ah got it Ooh. there we are in fact I may not actually need it anywhere with me it's going to take a little bit oh I am yeah it was the ones that I read I thought it was the scarlet so I'm just going to take some of this. This is the Evil Sun Scarlet. Not missing out on anything. But into that, I'm going to mix some Flash Kitsch Yellow as well as the Oops, way too much, I think. No, it's not. I'm just going to leave it at that. And go 
on how to put some in. Just a little bit, just to add a touch of colour and a touch of highlight to these areas. I'm wondering if adding some yellow into it, into the Wazdaka red, would have been a better option. I think of that for next time I'm doing red. There we go. And on this side, we'll just It's a few areas and hope for the best. And the reason I've got it the other way around is because this particular mini there isn't much in the line of um, things you can do with that red. Okay now one thing I was doing and for this bit I need uh, my palette CD palette. Um, I'm going to use that one because it's blank. Uh, it's white rather, so you're not going to you're not going to have as much trouble with. Um, sort of a reflection. <laughs> 